guys, in this lesson, we're going to be using chord inversions to spice up an E blues. Now, a chord inversion is when the lowest note of the chord is not the root note. And by using them, we can really add some interesting depth and textures and movement and flavors. So definitely something worth experimenting with. Let's see how we get on as we head to the split screen. So I'm in standard tuning. It's a blues and E, so we're using these classic E7, E diminished chord shapes. And arpeggiated. And we can also take our ring finger off to play the open high E. And normally we'd go to the A chord here, A7, A6, but instead we're going to play this. The lowest notes of the chords are walking down chromatically, D, C sharp, C, B. And if we went off the lowest note played, the chords might be D6 sus2, C sharp minor 7th, and I always really struggle with this one, playing with my thumb over, C major 13th, and B minor 6. But we're actually just staying in E and playing inversions of these chords. D6 sus2 is really an inverted E7, no third, and the C sharp minor 7 is an inverted E6 flat 5, no third, and I've simplified the chords to make them easier to fret. Then the C major we played is an inverted E sus flat, E sus flat 6, and then we play the B6 with the E in the bass. regular B7 and then we do go to our A, A7, A6, A5 so you can see how the inversions really add some spice and some movement to the arrangement Just landing on an E chord there. And the bass notes are within the E chord. So, same pattern, just changing the intro. Keep that quarter note bass going. And again. And two our E chord inversions. having to play with my thumb over thumb over to keep the bass going while the top notes ring out and the next part is pretty much the same different end tag. So that's... Mm -hmm. 
just a little pinch there, playing the low and open high E strings together. Into a B7. And then to A. And again. Let's do that one last time. And then I'll turn around. Into a B7. B7. Still up one fret. One last time. And for the next part, I'm just riffing on 9th fret B string, 10th fret E string. Slid down one fret. And then, and then 8th fret B string, 7th fret E string with a slight bend upwards and then a riff based off that E7 we learnt in the intro bending the 3rd fret B string, 3rd fret E string upwards a little bit Slide bend upwards. And all the while keeping the bass going. Then to the A section. So that's it guys, you can take a simple arrangement and really uplift it by using chord inversions, definitely worth giving them a try. So I'll run through it slowly now, here we go. One, two, three, four. Thanks for watching this video guys, if you enjoyed it don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe and I'll see you next time.